Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It is time for the second episode of Wrapped Up Risk, which is a series I'm doing through December where I've wrapped up 25 books I'm most excited to read and 25 of the books I'm least excited to read. And it's a risky business, because what am I gonna unwrap? So in the first episode, I'll leave it linked if you haven't watched it yet, we were lucky. We got one that I was most excited to read. So can we continue the streak? I'm aiming for all four. I'm somehow lucky enough to get ones I'm all excited to read. That's genuinely what I'm aiming for. Oh, let's be realistic. So we have to decide what to unwrap now. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm feeling green today. We unwrapped gold last time and I'd like a hardback. There's three I'm looking at. Okay, hold on. Let's get them all out and then we'll make our decision. I would like for something that isn't mystery thriller because I've just read a lot for the Goodreads Awards video, which I think will have just come out where I read the top 10 mystery thrillers. Which of these was I more interested in? This one, but now I'm looking at it, it looks really big. <laughs> so I would like maybe a fantasy or just something that isn't mystery thriller basically. Okay, these are our three options. That one looks really big, I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> I think that one looks too small. I'm gonna go for this one in the middle. Oh my God, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's find out what it is. I'm doing it. Oh my God. <laughs> I won again wrapped up. You lose. <laughs> You're a winner, baby. <sighs> Oh my god, I am so- this is like a dream come true. I am so excited. This is one of the books I've been most excited to read this year. It's Yerba Buena by Nina LaCour. I love Nina LaCour. And this is like a contemporary kind of romance, literary fiction, but I am so excited. <gasps> Megan 2 wrapped up Neil, baby! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know too much about this, apart from it's about two main characters who have kind of been through difficult stuff in their lives. And it's the kind of their story of love and them coming together and going apart. I listened to a podcast where Nina LaCour spoke about this and it just sounded amazing. And it's one of my most anticipated releases of the year that I still haven't got round to yet. Oh my God, wrapped up. The wrapped up gods like me. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and read this. I am so excited. Christmas pajamas. I just had a bath, so apologies if my face is a bit red, but I have read the first 100 pages of Yerba Buena. This is such a quick read. It is like, because the font is massive, I this is 300 pages in the book a month edition, but I wonder how many pages the normal edition is, because this, <laughs> this font is huge. So the plot of this is that we are following Sarah and Emmeline kind of in their two separate lives, these two girls. They haven't really crossed over much yet. In the first 100 pages, we've kind of been getting to know them each individually, but we've kind of been getting to know the trauma that they both carry. Sarah, I don't know how much to say. I think she kind of go into this blind, but some horrific stuff happened to her and she fled home at the age of 16. And Emmeline's sister is uh, a drug addict and a lot of her trauma comes from kind of her sister's struggles throughout the years and her kind of proximity to that. You know, I'd look up the trigger warnings for this because there is quite a lot from the get go. Um, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm in awe of this book already. I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you. I cried uh, 30 pages in. I think that is a feat. I think that is like, in, I've, I don't, can't remember the last time a book made me cry 30 pages into it. I felt like I knew these characters the moment I met them. You know when you like meet someone in real life and you feel like you know them straight away? That's how I felt with these characters and I was just completely in love with them and attached to them from the get-go. I can't remember the last time I 
I felt like that. And although the book has been very much, like it has very long chapters, I reckon we've only had like three chapters and we spend like 30 or 40 pages with one of them following their story in great detail, I'm not disliking that. In fact, I'm like, I'm loving it. I'm not being funny. Who are you? <laughs> and I love both of their stories so much and kind of getting to know them. I mean, we're only at the beginning. I mean, I've read 100 pages, but like I say, the font is massive, so not much has happened yet. And I just can't wait for when their paths fully converge. Like when there was a little hint where they kind of met each other for the first time, but not much came of it. And I went, <gasps> but I think for a book to make me cry, is incredible. Like, I just can't really get over it. And, you know, Nina LaCour's writing is, I don't know how to describe it, it's so quiet and, and intimate and gentle. Like, I don't know how to describe it. As much as I love my, like, vivid prose, in-depth storytelling books, you know, lyrical writing, that kind of book, I love a book like this where it's just, like, you feel like, I don't know, you're in the back of a, a coffee shop just before closing and you're intimate and it's, it's, oh, I don't know how to describe it. Again, like I love long books and detailed books. I also love how Nina LaCour, it feels like every word, right, is, is perfectly placed. I feel like I've said this about her before. Like every word is there for a reason. Every word is like held with so much care and respect. And I just don't feel like I read many other books like that. No word is wasted, right? Every word is telling the story. Every word has this great deal of meaning. Um, I'm loving it. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna end up finishing this tomorrow because it's such a quick read. Like literally, I'm gonna fly through it. It does not take long to read at all. And I'm already in awe and of, you know, this is her adult debut and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I mean, how many, what ratings have I given her other books? I'm just trying to remember. We Are Okay, I gave a, like a four and Watch Over Me, I gave a five. So she's not gonna qualify as a favorite author if this gets a five, which I feel like it's going to. I feel like Wrapped Up loves me, but yeah, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Good morning. So I have read a bit more of Yerba Buena, but me and my family are about to pop out to a garden centre nearby that I've heard has got like a <laughs> Christmas through the decades or Christmas through the ages display. I don't really know what to expect, but um, I want to go look at the decorations, the Christmas decorations. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to pop out there and I'll chat to you more when we get back, but I love doing stuff like this. It just makes me feel so Christmassy. So let's go. <laughs> Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. The snowman's dusting off his hat. On the show for everybody to give them a smile that lasts another year. There's something that happens with sleigh. There's a ring when December is where the children are singing. Yeah. It's Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas, baby. The snow is laying two feet deep. Now wish upon a falling star so all your secret dreams can come true. Ladies waiting, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings. 
turtle Just doves and day. a partridge <laughs> in a pear tree <laughs> on the eleventh day of Christmas. Hey. <laughs> We're back. The garden center was very cute. It wasn't quite what I expected. I expected the displays to be a bit more like, I expected it to be a walkthrough of Christmas decades, but it was like little corners of the garden center had those kind of displays on it, but it was still cool. Still gave me Christmas vibes. Got a few <laughs> more Christmas ornaments. That's what Christmas is about, isn't it? Yeah. And I have gotten uh, 200 pages through Yerba Buena, but whilst I was out, my Farinoon arrived. So I figured we could open this together. I think this is, November's box. This just feels like Christmas once again. This is more Christmas vibes. Opening fairly always makes me feel like it's Christmas because it's like a gift, you know? Our theme, oh, look at that art. Our theme is the witching hour. Okay. <laughs> We know I love witches. Oh my gosh, look at that. We have this mug. I love their mugs. Look at the gold. Oh my gosh. Inspired by the characters of Kingdom of the Wicked. That is gorgeous. Wow, I love that. Okay, what else? <laughs> we have a witchy spellbook pin, if it would focus. There we go, very cute. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh, this is like a book journal, like a book review journal. So you have like title, notes, rating, how you read it. Look at the designs. In there so gorgeous oh my god i might even use that i've never used like a physical book journal but that's very exciting and then lots this oh a letter opener oh my god <laughs> that one's quite aggressive <laughs> so it's like a letter opener i think this one is inspired by serpent and dove and what is the book oh i haven't heard of this the ones we burn by rebecca mix Ooh, I haven't heard of this. What is this about? A standalone witchy epic fantasy with romance. Interesting. I will leave Fairy the link down below as always. Thank you so much then for sending it to me. Listen, it feels like Christmas <laughs> when I get to open it. Okay, right, let's chat more about Yerba Buena. <laughs> because this is such a short book, I don't have that much more to say other than I'm still enjoying it. I'm still loving it. <laughs> I think to call this, you know, a romance is very incorrect. Have I been calling it a romance? I think I have. It's very incorrect. It's not really a romance. It's more about these two characters' stories and like, you know, you wanting them to come together the whole time and not knowing whether they will. And it, I don't know, it's a very unique kind of story. It's not a love story, but I would say it's like a story about love, you know? I keep reading this and I keep recognizing myself or things I've experienced or things my loved ones have experienced through stuff that's happening on the page. And uh, I don't know, I think it's just like, ne <laughs> Nina LaCour always manages to, I feel like to hold a light up and a mirror up to life and like the cycle of life and death and loving people and, and feeling sad and going through horrible stuff. And I don't even know, like, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. But when I read her books, I'm just, they're gentle, they're soft, but I'm just, overwhelmed by how accurate I think to human nature they are. And I'm just still loving our characters. I would say the characters other than our two main characters feel kind of transient and feel we don't get to know them very well. And in other books that would be like something that would make me enjoy the book less, but I feel like I know our two main characters so intimately and so well that like I don't mind that because we're kind of seeing the other characters in the book through their eyes and just the, the knowledge they get to know of them rather than sometimes you read a book and like you'll know other characters better than the main character does you know we only are privy to the knowledge and the information that our main characters learn does that make sense even though it's not written in first person we're kind of like holding their hand through the story and so yeah i just think it's really unique i'm loving it <laughs> i'm loving the reading experience i can't think of you know anything that has really made me feel this way but i adore it so i am literally just gonna go sit down over there and finish the book and i will chat to you in probably about half an hour 40 minutes because only 90 pages left yeah i'm gonna go ahead and uh and finish it and see <laughs> if it ends up being a five star, which I think it will. I finished Yab Buena and I'm giving it five stars. I loved it. <laughs> we did it, we did it, Joe. I think this is such a special book. Honestly, I recognize it's not gonna be for everyone because it doesn't follow like a normal narrative structure. It feels throughout somewhat unresolved. I feel like if you've read Nina Lacour though, you kind of know what to expect. You're kind of just following these characters through parts of their life and you're just like lucky to be there 
with them kind of <laughs> following through them through these parts of their life and it does feel unresolved but like I don't care I don't care I loved it I think the assumptions that I gave to you 100 pages in have kind of just stayed the same throughout the whole book but it's beautiful it's heartbreaking it's gentle quiet intimate like all of those things that I said before still stand I feel like I've kind of got nothing to say to you other than that it was five stars but I feel like we knew that 100 pages in I'm so rubbish at talking about books I loved I feel like sometimes like I have so much less to say and I just want the book to speak for itself whereas when I dislike a book I'm like right <laughs> Oh, let me tell you about this book. You know, I feel like the dialogue in this book is more realistic to real life where people will kind of say half of what they want to say or say half of the truth. And it's all about, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. It's all about just wanting to be loved and wanting to love in return and wanting to feel safe and wanting to know yourself and just like humanity. I just, it's so good. <laughs> I kind of knew that I was gonna love this. I mean, Nina Core just does something special to me. I'm like, Nina, give me another book right now, please. <laughs> like, I'm ready um, to be put through all this again. I don't know. I loved it. I don't have anything else to say to you. It's very short. You'll read it in like two hours or something like that. And it was a very special book. And I'm so glad that I finally got around to reading it. Thank you, wrapped up. So listen, so far in the <laughs> Two episodes have wrapped up. We've had a book that might be in my worst books of the year and a book that might be in my best books of the year. I'm not sure if either of them will quite make it onto those lists, but they're in contention. <laughs> so it's definitely been a wild ride, a wild adventure so far. So I hope you're enjoying it. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any more episodes. I'm loving it. I'm very excited. I'm going to find out this evening what I'm reading in the next episode and I just can't wait. I want to unwrap it now, but I need to finish editing this video first. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you. If you got to the end, put a flower or a drink kind of alcoholic drink because um how they meet is i didn't even mention this to you but one of them is a florist and one of them is a bartender so yeah comment a flower or <laughs> drink of choice emoji down below but thank you guys so much for watching go pick up your other one if you're interested and i'll see you very soon in another video bye